That's why the woman that came to the Nabi alayhi sallallahu alayhi the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa told her, you should look after the Prophet said, anyone that falls into this impurity things, hide it. You know? So that shows you, Prophet is made, he was not looking for any anything just to establish the, the, the had. Even there is narration, repel away the had by doubt. I mean the punishment by doubt. So the ass is to hide, you know. But you know, they wanted it. So Alhamdulillah. Yeah. May Allah forgive us all. Which brother? I spoke to him already, man. What he say hi there? Good, yeah? Thing, What's happening, man? Everything is jolly, everything is good. Inshallah, it's not a good thing. You see what happened last week? Good. No, what happened last week? They were fighting, people were fighting. No, but you are going, you are going, you are going, you are going. We must be respectful in our debate. That's right. And this is what I said. I agree with you. Well, yeah, okay, well, it's, well, yeah, it's, it's you using his, his words verbally yes. towards the Muslim brother. You know, you know, there is two ways you can do it. You can do it verbally and you can do it physically. Now, if a man ever speak about my mother mm. or my prophet or my religion, mm. Disrespectfully, yeah. it's going to trigger me. No doubt, so you're right. So we must be respectful. You're right, 100%. What I'm right. saying to, to, to the Muslim brother yeah. is, 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 is putting his mom That's and true. in the conversation, talking yeah. about his mother. Yeah, his mother. And if a man going to talk about your mother in this park, it's going to make man upset and make man want to do something. Because yeah, but, but, if, a but, man, but, if, but, if a man speak about my mother, it's going it to really, you know, it triggers you, yeah. So, what the Bible said, the Bible said, blessed are the peacemaker because they are called children of God. Now, Bob is a peacemaker. And he's, he's a troublemaker. A, he's a troublemaker. Yeah, and how, and how he's trouble, he's trouble with his mouth. With his mouth, with yeah. His mouth. Yes. We have yes. to be careful what to say towards each other with but, the mouth because that will make a man get angry. Yeah, yeah, so, that's who right, that's started right, the, that's the right. fight is Bob. Yes. And then he going to run to, to call police. I mean, even, even, sorry to call you, brother. Even, yes, I mean, like, what happened with Bob? He pushed the, uh, uh, the uncle. The uncle, you know, he had a walking stick with him. Yes. He has a problem. Yes. And the uncle is old enough to be his father. Yes. And that shows you Bob is yes. not showing no respect to no one. No respect. You understand, brother? And, and, and then, like, sorry to yes. tell you, there's sometimes no, no, even no, old, old Christians disrespect me, yes. but I will not put my hand except if he's coming to push me like what yes. happened last week. Someone is intervened to my space. I said, listen, just move yes. away from me. Yes. And they said, I spoke to him nicely. I said, yes. listen, leave me alone. But, you know, you're right. That's true. Yeah. What's happening is because corner because you can say whatever you like. People say because I can say whatever I like, I'm gonna say then whatever I like. But any man who with a sound intellect, we say I'm not gonna say a and disrespect the person's religion. I will say something to criticize it, but I'm not trying to disrespect it. We just show him which one is the truth and which one is the falsehood. But the way he he does it, Bob, that's why I ignore him. I don't like to have a discussion with listen, him because he's listen, very disrespectful. Listen, listen. There, there is certain limit a man must go because if a man not gonna disrespect my mother and my father and I say that he shouldn't get a thump in his face for that in his mouth because what what him what him do what he said he must get a slap in his mouth for what he said knowing the fact that he must he must but we cannot we can we cannot do no, that here we I'm talking to uh, you wait, 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 now, right? Wait, now. wait, 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 you right now. wait, 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 you're right, you're right, but what I'm your saying, religion. but what no, I'm no, saying, man, that's true, man. but people are disrespecting God, who is more beloved to us than our mothers, yeah. we are silent, yeah, so man. therefore, we know this place, you're going to hear things which you're going to dislike, yeah. and you're going to be angry with, so we have to control our anger, you understand, because no doubt there's an individual here, mentally disturbed, they will say anything, either we have to carry on discussion with them, be patient, or walk away from them, and so I do. You understand? I walk right. away from them. Do you, do you watch? Do you watch this football match with Zinedine Zidane in the World Cup? You remember it? Yeah, yeah. And someone say something to Zinedine Zidane. Zidane. They know. It's my people. What my people. Say. Yeah, to push his yeah. button. I'll to get him. him hungry. To get him off the pitch. Yeah, that's true. If you know something to get a man hungry, don't say. But that's what they want to do here. They want to bend us. Yes, that's what I'm saying. They did. You know, you know. Forget that's about Bob. Brother, forget about Bob. There's a Muslim yeah. old guy here he yeah. keep insulting my mother Whoa. when i said to him so you have to be just what this man is Whoa. a disgusting man yes. and he's a muslim he's a liar yes. he doesn't follow islam correctly he keep insulting me and my mother but right. what he wanted once i got angry you know i lost yeah. it i was gonna smack him up 
However, what happened? Brother said, "This is true, Shamsi." Yeah. So what happened? This guy went back to the police yeah. and complained to them. And police they say, "Listen, he never attacked you." So why, why, uh, why? Uh, the conclusion I came to that this individual is looking for me, for me to hit him in order to complain to the police to bend me. That's, That's why we do. have to be smarter than them. We have to be smarter so we have to control them. our anger and walk away. You have to be smarter than them. Yeah. But if a man disrespect my mother one time, I'm gonna tell him stop. That's and right. If disrespect my mother a second time, I'm gonna tell him stop. That's and right. If you do it a third time, then they go lick him in the face. And when they, when him go to the police and the police come. I will say to the police, yes, I lick him in the face. The police will say, why? They will say to him because he disrespect my mother. So yeah. here you go, do your waffle. If you want to charge me, charge me. They will bend you, they will bend you. Do but if you want to do it, do it. But anyway, cut the conversation. Let's talk about something different now. I will tell you no. the difference. When are you going to become Muslim? Let's talk about something different When are you going to become Muslim? Listen. And stop you know, joking around. You know I'm a East. You know I'm a When are you going to become you know Muslim and stop joking you know around? I'm a Hebrew Israelite and we always follow the king. You're a Hebrew Israelite? Yes, and we always follow the king. Which king? So, so we step by step. Brother, now. step step by step, please. Stop it, because I'm going to start shouting as well. Listen. No, 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 uh, no, no, no. Shouting, but listen. Listen. Shouting? Yes. You're not shouting. Halas, I, I, I said, I'm going to start no, speaking no, loudly. No, no, I'm, no. So no, let, no, let me, no, let me speak. Stop, let me speak. Something. Shout if you want to shout. No, I don't I want to shout, shout. Because I would save my voice to speak later on. All right, go on. Okay, that's it. What I would say to you, I already have explained to you yeah. with a rational, logical, and the tangible proofs, we cannot trust the Bible. If we cannot trust it, and we don't know who wrote it, why are we gonna worship uh, the Most High Allah based upon corrupted scripture? Logic dictates we should worship Him based upon sound scripture, which is the Quran. Do you understand that? Like again, we can speak about the scripture. The scripture again, the earliest manuscript for the Old Testament, especially for the five books, the Torah, right. is 1,000 years gap between Moses and the Torah that we have our Bible based upon. So 1,000 years, we don't know the writers, we don't know the translators. If we don't know them, how can we trust them? We cannot trust them. So why are you following a book you cannot trust? No, listen to this. You can't trust the book. Can you trust someone you don't know? No, you cannot trust the book. Can you trust someone you don't know? Eh? Can you trust someone you don't know? You know the Bible, the Bible was written by a man inspired by God while they're moving. I didn't ask that question. Can you trust someone you don't know, brother? Eh? Can you trust someone you do not know? No, I can't trust somebody more. No. Okay, the what? earliest man, hear me, hear me out, brother. The earliest manuscript that we have for the Old Testament is 1,000 years gap. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so 1,000 years gap, which is Dead Sea Scrolls. Yeah. 1,000 years gap, someone came and he started saying, Jesus said, uh, Moses, have one. Sorry, Moses said this, Jeremiah said that. Do we know him? We do not know him. If we don't know him, can we trust him? Now watch this now. Can we trust him? No, no, yes or no? No, no, we can't trust Jeremiah. We can't. No, 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 Jeremiah. Who? No, no, no. The, the, the scribes. The scribes. The no, the scribes. The one who wrote the Bible. The, 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 the Dead Sea Scrolls was written by scribes. They came 1,000 years after Moses. Yes. 100 years after Jeremiah. Yes. We don't know them. Yeah. That, it's, it's spread. They will tell you we don't know them. Yeah, Can we trust them if we don't know them? Uh, no, we, no, we can't trust them. But That's you want, it. But you, you prove my point. When they write, man write the Bible that by, by the why they move by the Holy Spirit, inspired by God, why they move by the Holy Spirit. So if you, I'm an Hebrew Israelite. So if you look, if you look on, on our life and on, on, on how we live, 400 years in slavery. And if you read the Bible, what's going on today in the world and what's going on back from, there's a prophecy. The prophecy. So we can see what's going on in the world and what's written in the Bible. It is true. Listen, listen. So when is we're alive. talking about all the prophets, the one also, when we're talking about all the prophets that in the Bible, everything that was written in the Bible is coming to fulfill. So can we trust the Bible? Yes. Can you? No, no. Is that can any, you? Wait, 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 wait. Can you? Don't. You best you made a claim. You said there's a prophecy which is being fulfilled Allah's because no, no, because of the Hebrew Israelites. The Hebrew Israelites, especially this movement started in, in Harlem, in America. Hebrew Israelite, that the true Hebrew Israelites are black people. This movement doesn't make any sense. Do you know why? Because they believe they were enslaving the people before. If they were enslaving the people before, those people are going to claim to be the true Israelites. They're going to say, because, do you know why we are the true Israelites? Because the Bible said we're going to be enslaved. So it's a game, though. That's what, firstly, not every prophecy is being fulfilled in the Old Testament. That's the firstly. Secondly, many prophecies in the Old Testament came after, uh, came before, for example, 
uh, the earliest manuscript we have 1,000 years, yes? 1,000 years after Moses. So he's saying something already happened. That's not a prophecy. You understand? A prophecy, when you give me a scripture, backdated Moses' time, prophesizing something, yes. And by the way, I'm not negating that every, I'm not saying everything in the Bible is corrupted. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not say, I mentioned that before to you. But my point here is, logic dictates, can we trust the Bible that was written by people we don't know, we cannot. And we can prove from within, we don't know. The five books was given to Moses, correct? The Torah, which is Deuteronomy. Okay, if the five books was given to Moses, at the end of uh, Deuteronomy, it says Moses died in the land of Moab. And it was hundred over hundred and something. And the Israelites cried for him. Since then, there was no prophet like Moses. This passage is clearly was written way after Moses. Because it says, since then, there was no prophet like Moses. So do you know who wrote that passage? We are talking about the book of Moses. Deuteronomy. That it says Moses died in the land of Moab. He was 150 years old. Mm -hmm. The Israelites cried for him. And since then, mm -hmm. there was no prophet like Moses. If you die today, I cannot say, what's your name again? I forgot your name. Sorry. Ben Israel. Ben, ben, ben Israel. Ben Israel, yeah? <laughs> if, if you die today, Ben Israel, yeah? yeah? I cannot say. Okay, hear me, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I cannot say, since then, there was no man like Ben Israel. Because people say, what do you mean since then? That guy just died. What are you on? But since then indicates what? A long time. So my point, do you know how old that passage? When you, when, when you look, when you, it doesn't matter how old it is. It does, bro. Come on, what is it? Does that? And it, it does. does. Listen, because he said he was going to Moses. Everything, I'm going to tell you, everything that written in the Bible is supposed to be written while man written, inspired by God. Which man was inspired for, by God? For, for, for which man? Know, which man was inspired by God? All the men them that wrote the Bible, the prophets them that wrote uh, the Bible. But right? so you missing my point, bro. There's so many prophets but that wrote the Bible. We don't have the original so writing. Prophet, brother, that wrote the Bible. You missing the point? We, we don't know. know. Watch that, Shamsi. We don't know. We, we don't know. know. We know. We know. But guess what? We know Shamsi. that we, the earliest manuscript. When you open the Bible, out, Shamsi. Shamsi. Out. We are, we, when you open the Bible, the manuscript that we have is one thousand years after Moses. Do you understand my point? Because you are digressing. You said, from my main you point. said the Israelites said we believe. We don't believe nothing. We know. Okay, Israelites, believe is no. When I say believe, when, when, when I say when I say believe, by the way, when I hear me out, hear me out, Baba. When I say believe, when I say believe, by the way, as a Muslim, when we use this term, we, we say belief is based upon not just knowledge, based upon certainty. Because sometimes, sometimes, sometimes something can be based upon knowledge, but the person doesn't have certainty. So we as a Muslims, when you use the word believe, mean knowledge and certainty. By brother, understand my point. I agree. Jeremiah was inspired by God. Daniel was inspired by God. Moses, I'm not negating that. But what I'm saying, what they've been inspired with, the scriptures, we don't have the original writing. We have the writing that came after 100 years after or 1,000 years after right. that was written by people who don't know them. And guess what, bro? Ben right. Israel, in your own Bible, your God or the Most High, your God is my God. No doubt about that. Even though you speak bad about him in the Bible. I will mention it later. But the Most High already said in the Old Testament that the Israelites, they're evil people. They are pagans. They turn away from God. How can we trust people that God many times rebuked them? Jeremiah 8.8, 8, what does he say? Do you know what he says? Do you know what it says? Yes or no? Jeremiah said a lot of things. No, no, I didn't say it. <laughs> Jeremiah said a lot of things. I said 8-8. Eight, eight. What did he say? 8-8, eight, eight, he, he says, how can we claim that we have the law with us when the pen of the scribes have changed it? We're in and the law... We're in Jeremiah, it said that. I just said 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he says, how can we claim that we have scribes? How can we claim we have the Torah with us, the law with the Torah, when the, 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 the lying scribes have changed it? And that's what Allah said in the Quran. That's what shows you Allah's the truth. Allah said, Yes, ma'una kalam Allahi, thumma yuharrifunahu min ba'di ma'aqiluh. That they um, uh, hear the speech of Allah and they change it after they understood it. Shamsi, the Quran is for you. The Quran is for all mankind. No, 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 no. no. Listen, yeah, it is. Listen, listen. Ya Bani Israel, uzkuru ni'mati allati an'amtu alaykum wa anni faddaltukum ala al-alameen. Allah said, oh, this is a light. Remember my favor on you. Right. Shamsi, the Quran is for you. The Quran is for you. 
Boy. And the Bible is so well, good. on the back of it. But, but listen to this, yeah. There's some. No, no, as for everyone. When you said, when you said, me and you have the same God. Why that the one that we don't know about that the one there? Because that, guess what? I believe in Quran. I said the Quran say one thing, and the Bible I say a different. Yeah, because the Bible is that. That's not no, God's word. Not all of it. That no, was the word no, of another no, human you, being. No, you trust the Quran. Yes. And I trust my Bible. Yeah. No. Yes. How can you say you can't trust you it? See, when the Quran. No, I said. Uh, we're going on the corner, I trust man. my Bible, and you trust your Quran. Do you know the writings of the you're Bible? Enough. The, the Old Testament. No, listen to this. Oh, you're not listening. No, no, no. no listen After that, you go, inshallah. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, we just. No, no, come on, man. No, no, you are no, dealing with no, the poor. No, you know business here. You've been not business here. You know Ben Israel anymore. You belong to the Arab. Before you go, you trust the Quran. Good. Yeah. Love that. No doubt about that. And we trust the Quran. Good. You trust the Quran. Anyway, no, no, we trust. How many years? No, no. Allah knows this. No, no. Allah knows this. No, no. Trust it. Listen, listen to me. Allah knows this. No, no. Trust it. Listen, listen to me. Allah knows this. No, no. Trust it. Listen, listen to me. Allah knows this. No, no. Trust it. Listen, listen to me. Allah knows this. No, no. Trust it. Listen, listen to me. Allah knows this. No, no. Trust it. Listen, listen to me. Allah knows this. No, no. Trust it. Listen, listen to me. Allah knows this. No, no. Trust it. Listen, listen to me. Allah knows this. No, no. Trust it. Listen, listen to me. Allah knows this. No, no. Trust it. Listen, listen to me. Allah knows this. No, no. Trust it. Listen, listen to me. Allah knows this. No, no. Trust it. Listen, listen to me. Allah knows this. No, no. Trust it. Listen, listen to me. Allah knows this. No, no. Trust it. Listen, listen to me. Allah knows this. No, no. Trust it. Listen, listen to me. Allah knows this. No, no. Trust it. Listen, listen to me. Allah that, that in, in the Bible. In, in, yeah, that's right. That's and right. I believe it. That's right. And when you look at when you look at certain um thing about Islam and how it um respectfully and how the ladies dress and so forth, so forth. Yes. We yeah. get that. We can accept that. Yes. That's what I like about you. And so yes. I will always follow follow Yahshua. So I have a Quran and I have a Bible. And I don't disrespect none of the books. Yeah. So when you read the Quran, you understand the Bible good and when you read the bible you understand the quran good and i truly believe that your prophet muhammad peace boy pe pe be upon him he was trying to do good amongst his people now listen we never come to talk to you about that topic i wanted to come to you talk to you about the topic why i come to talk to you, you know, the first time i see Wait, you well, i'm gonna make it quick no but i'm gonna make something quick no no something quick one. you know you know our muslim scholars were, they were asked is it permissible that because we don't believe the Bible that we have it now right. is the original word of God. It's been corrupted. Can we step on it? He said, no, you're not allowed to step on it. That's our Muslim scholars. You understand? Because why? Mm -hmm. It's still, this, we cannot disrespect people's biblical books. You understand? So what I was going to say also... You know why they're to uh, corrupt uh, it? No, I'm out, I'm out. What I'm saying to you, what I just did, I'll show you from outside sources, from within the Bible sources, mm -hmm. that the Bible, there's corruption and it cannot be trusted. And you trust it because yeah. you are looking at the Bible something as something which is part of your heritage as a Hebrew Israelite. And in the Quran, Allah, Allah, yeah. Allah, Allah spoke to you in the Quran. He said, Ya Bani Israel, adkuru ni'mati allati an'amtu alaykum. Oh, the Israelites, Israelite, remember my favor upon you. Remember my favor upon you. But what is, what is Allah? What is Allah's promise to Bani Israel, to the Israelites? Ufu bi'ahdi, ufu bi'ahdikum, wa iyaya fattaqoon. Fulfill my promise, I will fulfill yours. What is the promise of Allah? That there will be a messenger coming after and it's upon you to aid him. You understand? When you say the Prophet Muhammad is in Isaiah 42, clearly speaks about the Prophet Muhammad. Okay? And what I'm saying, brother, look into it. You keep telling me you trust it, trust it. I know Jalama was inspired, but I'm saying the Bible that we have now, that printed that, Bible, right. is based upon a manuscript yeah. that was written 1,000 years after Rome Moses, to, well, and we don't know who wrote it. Rome, Rome, That's Rome, it. Rome tried to corrupt the Bible, yes, you know why? Because Not just Rome, many people. No, no, they, they, you people, people tried to corrupt it. They no. don't want to, they, they, they don't want the original people to know. You the tried, you tried. God said you. In the Bible said the Israelites. But we know the truth. But Israel, you listen, God in the Bible said you tried. But we know the truth. We know the truth. So you tried, you, yes, you corrupted it. Tried to corrupt it. You corrupted it. Not your ancestors, no, you, you when I say you, the Israelites, no, no, the Israelites, no, no, attack it. <laughs> the Israelites, I that's in the Bible, you know, it's in the Bible. You know, well, I know. They, yeah. No, they try to corrupt. No, I've already told him, I've already, no, 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 well, I know. No, I've, I've told him, I've told yeah, him already, yeah. there are certain things I do accept in yeah. the Bible. Yeah, For example, I do accept yeah. that when, when Moses said, the first commandment to worship God alone, that goes in line with the Quran, you understand? But what I'm saying, hear me what I'm saying. Yes, yes, yes. When you look to certain things in the Bible, it goes in line with reality. You cannot deny it. You understand? But it doesn't mean everything's inspired. But my point here, when I use Isaiah 42, it came away before Prophet Muhammad. So it cannot be written by Prophet Muhammad. Likewise, it cannot be written by people that they will, they will be enemies of Prophet Muhammad and speaking, he will be a prophet of God. Yes. 
No, Baba, I just told you. Yeah, I did, yes. I told you about. There are certain things I accept in Isaiah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there are certain things I, I don't certain accept. Certain things you don't accept. I like me, there are certain things I accept in the Quran. Like, do, uh, sorry, do you accept, do you accept, do you accept okay, for example, what? sorry brother, yes, do you accept in the Bible when God said to kill the babies and children for the sins that was done 500 years before they were born? Sorry. Yeah, I, I accept it. Huh? I accept it. So in the Bible, in the Bible, in the Bible, yeah, yeah, in the Bible, in Samuel, the reason, uh, second time, if I don't remember yes, exactly. Brother, because 15. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. The children of Israel, the, the, the children of Israel, they push us to go worship Baal. Okay, wait, that's wait, let me. That's why Moses says, Moses go and kill them and wipe them out because they push us. That, that's not the reason, that's enemy. not the reason. That was, you're going to talk about the Bible. Okay, get the Bible, Samuel it's 15. It's going to be long because you want to go. No, 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 I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. Why put all of them? You said you're going to go. I'm going to stay. They, they sin against God and they make the children of Israel sin against God. Is it stick of Moses? So God said, yeah man, it's, a, it's, it's, it's That's it's not Marad. stick of Moses, it's stick no, of Britain. No, this is Murad. Because okay. when, it, when, when me, the Christians uh, come to the park and they try to fight, we use the rod of Moses against <laughs> them. Yeah? We make uh, peace. Brother, what I was going to say, yeah? Yeah, yeah? In Samuel, the reason... Samuel second Samuel, Samuel okay. 15. Yes, is it second or first, one of them? It says, God said to Saul, yes? Uh, or God yeah. said to Samuel, that so God has anointed Saul as yeah. a king over the Israelites. Yeah. Yeah. Now, and he said, go kill the, the, the Malak. Why? Because five, 500 years